द डायग्नोसिस एंड मैनेजमेंट ऑफ ब्रेस्ट कैंसर कैन नॉट बी डन बाय वन सर्जन और वन क्लिनिशियन अलोन इट नीड्स अ टीम ऑफ डॉक्टर्स नर्सेज अलाइड स्टाफ सपोर्ट स्टाफ and then a patient's journey can be simplified and in fact the patient can be cured hello everyone i'm dr aditi chaturvedi and today i'm going to talk to you about the journey of any woman any patient who is suspected or diagnosed with breast cancer so the word cancer itself can cause a lot of distress and anxiety to a person and the moment someone has any complaint any symptom be it a lump in the breast be it nipple discharge any skin or nipple change for which they are asked to visit a breast surgeon or a breast cancer clinic they may be faced with a lot of fear and a lot of questions what should they expect what does their journey entail so generally such a patient first needs a thorough clinical examination by a breast surgeon followed by certain imaging tests such as a mammogram an ultrasound or sometimes a mri which gives us a picture of the breast it tells us where is the problem how big it is what are the characteristics this is followed by something what we call as tissue diagnosis where a biopsy a needle is placed into that lump and some part some tissue small piece is taken to the labs to find out what is the problem is it cancer or something else all these three things clinical exam correct imaging and correct tissue diagnosis or biopsy are extremely essential in knowing whether someone has cancer and if they have cancer what type of cancer do they have after this diagnosis is accurately made certain markers called hormone erpr and her2 new markers may be used to find the type of cancer then we come to the next question what is the stage so broadly speaking cancer can be of four stages and sometimes your surgeon or your clinician may ask for a full body scan or certain other tests to know what is the stage is it localized to one part of your body or has it spread slightly more once both this information is available your diagnosis about the type of cancer and your stage then a treatment plan is made and like i said the treatment is not done by one person alone you will probably need a surgeon's help who will operate get the tumor out maybe reconstruct create an artificial breast so you may need a plastic surgeon we may need a medical oncologist who will help with medicines be it chemotherapy which are injections or hormone therapy which are tablets Sometimes we have newer agents called targeted therapy or immunotherapy which your medical oncologist may prescribe. Then we also need the help of a radiation oncologist who uses radiation beams to treat the area of cancer. Apart from all these doctors, we need the support of our nurses, our oncology nurses who handhold the patients, the pathologists, radiologists, psychologists who make sure that their anxiety and fears are allayed and various other specialists including palliative specialists physiotherapists basically the message is the treatment has to be streamlined in a systematic manner with combined team effort of a variety of experts hope this is of help to you and wishing you all the best subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates